one show or one one show I don't recommend you check out is Echo. There's this Marvel TV series called Echo. The protagonist is like um this deaf girl who also is an amputee. She's got like a leg, you know, a, a leg that got blown off. I think it's a, she had a car accident, so she's got a prosthetic leg or whatever maybe, and she's deaf, but she's also like a martial arts, you know, combat expert or something, right? Um and I have to admit it's absolutely terrible. I think the premise behind it is that she's Native American, so she's got um she's got these spirits in her or something that harken back to the you know to the old times and gives her these weird powers or something. But oh my god, the woman is so unlikable and it's so interesting because she's actually deaf. The actual actress herself is actually deaf as well. So it's not even like she can actually talk, but the character is so unlikable. She's so hard to root for. She, you know, recklessly gets people killed. Um, she doesn't seem to have any care or respect for people. Um, there's this weird thing as well, like in this show, it starts off by showing you like how, you know, her origin story, right? Of how she kind of becomes um, a superhero. And um, basically the, the, it kind of starts off with her living in this place and being friends, you know, with this other young girl in her area. And then they have to move. I don't know why they have to leave. I forgot what the reason is. But she kind of leaves her friend behind her, but they're best friends. And then for some reason, when she's older, she just completely forgets about that best friend. She goes back to the town for, you know, for some unfinished business and to catch the killers of her dad and all this sort of nonsense. The girl lives in that town. And for an entire series, I was like, why didn't she just go back and say hi to her friend? Like, I couldn't figure out why the the friend was, like, being ignored. Why she was so angry at her. Like, it, it wasn't explained. Like, what did the friend do to you? Because the, the last scene you see of the friend is that kind of iconic scene in most series where the kid kind of, one kid, you know, two best friends and one kid has to move. And then you see the, the scene of the kid running down the street. Like, oh, my God, stay, come back, come back, whatever. That's all you see. Like that's the, what that's one of the only scenes you see between them. So I was like, when did the conflict happen? What why have why have they quote unquote fallen out? And it just seemed odd because she had all this like anger and aggression and frustration against this other friend. I think her name's Abby, and there was no reason for it. It just seemed a bit, did you know? It just seemed a bit like, um, it didn't seem the the frustration was placed in the right place. It just, was odd, uh, misplaced, sir. misplaced um, aggression or frustration. It was very bizarre. Then throughout the entire series as well. You know, it's a girl and she's fighting these big men and she's obviously got, you know, she's obviously got a prosthetic leg and you're like, come on, really? Like, and again, I'm not, I'm not that, I don't want to be that guy because I watch a lot of fucking, you know, mission, I watch a lot of Tom, I'm a big Tom Cruise Mission Impossible franchise fan, right? And I watch a lot of thrillers and, you know, action movies that aren't the most realistic, but come on, the girl's deaf, she's got one leg. And you're telling me she's beating up all these dudes <laughs> with no real discernible superpowers apart from what? Her really high level MMA skills. Come on, brother. Come on. Come on. And she's deaf too. Okay, cool. All right. All right. All right. Whatever you say. Um, there's a scene with a daredevil in it, which is cool, I guess. Not really that interesting. She somehow gets the better of daredevil and he kind of has to run away because he's ashamed. Um and then there's a uh, what you call it? I forgot his name. Um, Lex Luger character in there too. From left, he's a little bit. I won't say he's neutered, but he's a little bit tame compared to the one that we know from before. I don't know. I just don't know. It's just fucking terrible. Like it's just really bad, really fucking bad. And it's odd because Echo's got quite decent reviews online. If you go on like um, I don't know IGN or a few of those other places I don't know maybe IGN is not a good example because maybe they're a little bit more left-leaning and stuff but it does have quite decent reviews online if you check it but if you actually watch it it's not really good like again the main actor is really annoying um, most of the show is kind of done obviously via, via sign language because the, obviously the main character is deaf herself which is decent enough I guess for people who are actually deaf it's probably nice to have that level of accessibility but it's quite hard to kind of follow it. Like the the dialogue is a bit like labored because of it. It's just, I don't know. It's just unnecessary. I don't know why this exists. It doesn't do anything really. Um, the action scenes aren't believable. None of the characters you want to root for from the grandmother to the main actress, to the friends, to the weird guy psychics that she, that he had, that she has. 
Like, it's just odd. It's an odd TV series. I didn't understand it. Um, again, another fail when it comes to these Marvel TV shows. I don't even know if it's worthy of a 2 out of 10. If it's a 1 out of 10, whatever it is, I do recommend you probably don't watch it. <laughs> it's fucking shit. It honestly is absolutely terrible. And um, yeah, I, I don't know how... I, like, I had to spend, especially the last few episodes, I spent just fast-forwarding bits. I couldn't sit there and watch the whole thing. I was like, I can't. I can't get put, put myself through this. I just fast forward most of the bits. I was like, by the end, I was like, oh, is that, is that how it ended? Okay, cool. Whatever. She gets some like uniform that she wears, like she looks like a gladiator. She kind of looks like a wrestler or something, right? She like she gets given this outfit that she has to. It's like, yeah, I don't know. It's just it's pants. It's fucking pants. And again, she's got no superpowers, but she can beat up everybody. It's like, huh? Okay, cool. Whatever you say, whatever you say. One show that is absolutely amazing is for all mankind. Season four just wrapped up. For all mankind, season four has just wrapped up, and it legitimately is one of the best tv series especially in this within the sci-fi genre that i've seen in a hot minute it's absolutely fantastic it ended amazingly strong and if anything i think this show is kind of feels like a prequel oddly enough to the shit that happens in the expanse you know with the whole belter and stuff right um with this whole beef between mars and earth and shit it kind of feels like if you think about it for mankind could also be a prequel to the expanse it kind of could be the same sort of you know thing in terms of you know fighting for the resources um you know putting money on things the battles the politics like like it's really fucking good i really recommend you check it out it ended incredibly well um the plots um the plot lines are tying together really well i would have wished they would have maybe explored more this idea that maybe there might be life on mars and shit that might be absolutely great um i love that maybe the next season we're gonna you know get some really telling things happen especially now that you know spoiler alert the asteroid is being kind of more geared towards um what you call it the orbit of mars as opposed to go back to earth so they can mine that and shit that's going to be quite great to see um and yeah man some obviously tragic deaths happen throughout the entirety of the show which you probably have to check out to see yourself but i think it is actually one of the better sci-fi shows i've watched in a fucking long fucking time so if you're a fan of sci-fi like myself i really recommend you check out for all mankind available on apple tv and of course most places where you watch stuff online but i do recommend i do recommend please for the love of god you check out for all mankind for all mankind this is absolutely incredible viewing i do recommend you check it out i really really do